Okay, y'all answer me this real quick. Do you say pecan or a pecan? Because my friend just revoked my southern card because I say pecan and she says the correct and only way to say it is pecan. Now we are at war and I would like to know where you guys stand on this. Is it pecan or pecan? I've always wanted to try this. Look, you guys, I love my job so much, I got a tattoo. So, hello. I got home from work a little bit ago. It's Tuesday. Today was slow, a little rainy. I occupied myself by relabeling things. I was amusing myself greatly. No one else was very impressed. <laughs> I'm so up. But, but look. It's like spinning really fast. I don't know what's happening. But now I'm home. Tomorrow I don't work. I'm going to see my sister and we're going to practice our songs for church and practice a new one that we're trying to learn. So I'm going to give you a little reading update right now. So I've been doing pretty good with my July TBR. It is July. Reading books that I've owned for a long time and so I've been like making the progress and reading the books that I had put on my TBR, but I haven't really been enjoying them a lot. I guess this explains why I'd been like refusing and avoiding reading them because like I knew deep down that I just, it, I wasn't going to like it. And all of them have been really mediocre. All of them have been either two or four three stars, which is not great. I'm probably going to get rid of most of them. So I decided to take a little break from my TBR and read something that I knew I was really going to like because I just got really tired of reading these mediocre meh kind of books. So I finally picked up Cool Beans by Erin Mangum. This is book one in the Maya Davis series. And if you don't know, I love Erin Mangum. She's my favorite contemporary romance author. Christian author. Yeah, I was really excited. I was just in the mood for a contemporary, in the mood for something that would make me laugh, and so I wanted to read this one. So, this is about a girl named Maya Davis. She works at a coffee shop called Cool Beans with her best friend, whose name is escaping me at the moment. Um, she's happily single, goes to visit her um, parents every weekend. She lives in an apartment with her other best friend. Things are going great. She's happy with her life. But then some things start happening. Um, her roommate starts dating her ex, which is like awkward. Her brother and sister-in-law are moving back to town and they don't really get along that well. And yeah, that's basically what's happening. It's it's Maya's life and her struggles and yeah. The thing I love about Erin Mangum's books is they're just so easy to read. They're so easy to read. They're so fun. Her characters are really down to earth. Maya Davis reminds me a lot of Lauren from the Lauren Holbrook series. Their personalities are similar, um, but uh, you know, Lauren is a lot more like extra and like a crazy person. And I'd say Maya is more like mature than Lauren is. And their love of coffee is right there with each other. So yeah, they're similar characters, but they are different. Erin Mangum's books always make me laugh. Why am I like reading ahead? I don't know. I, I got distracted when I was flipping through by something that I saw. There's also like Christian content in these. Like she'll pray and read her Bible and like make notes and go to like Bible studies and stuff. So that's fun. But these characters always go to like singles groups, which I find very interesting. Like I know churches have like all kinds of like small groups and like different kind of age ranges and for different whatever kind of groups. Like you can have a group for anything. But like they always go to singles groups and that's just like so strange to me. Because, like, like in this book, she's not, it's not a singles group that, like, they're going to this group to, like, meet other single people to, like, find. It's just a singles group. But why? And even, like, the Sunday school she went to, like, instead of going to, like, a regular church service, like, it was her singles group on Sunday morning that she went to. And that's just weird. I don't understand. But yes, I like the book. Love Erin Mangum. I need to buy the rest of her books. There's still many that I don't own. And I love her. 
so I'm over halfway through with this book and I don't have the next one so that's very sad I'm gonna have to like buy it at some point but I've been really good and not buying books which means that like I'll probably give in at some point and like buy like spend a ton of money on books because that's usually how it happens after this one I'll probably try to get back to my TBR but I might start the Ravenwood saga because I just really want to read some good books I'm tired of these meh books but yeah, that's my little update. I'll check in with you guys later. Y'all, what is this? Like literally, what is this? Okay, you remember it had like three little sprout plants? Look at this one. It just completely died. I just like went to move it in front of like in the window this morning and I had to do a double take because I was like, wait, hold up. What is this? It's dead. Like literally like two days ago it was fine and it just like died overnight. Like it had been poisoned. It's completely dead. And it looked like this just the other day. I have no idea what happened. All my camera batteries died to continue. I don't overwater it. I don't underwater it. Like I know I'm not. I'm being careful. It's a succulent. I know you don't need to water it like super duper often. Um, I put it in the window for sunlight almost every day. There's only been a few days since I've had this that I have forgotten to put it in the sunlight. And I know that is not enough to kill it. Certainly not enough to kill it in such a dramatic and instant way. Literally have no idea what happened. Like, did a bug eat it in the night? Like, I don't understand. I don't know if I told you guys, but like the whole reason like this whole like side right here, like the leaves are torn off and stuff is because the roofers like almost right after I got this, like this was sitting outside on the ground getting like sun and stuff and they just threw a tarp over it and knocked it over. Maybe the trauma was just too much for it. Maybe even this window right here, maybe it's just not enough sunlight to keep it alive. I'm not really sure. So hello everyone. This is my nephew Trace. I don't think you've ever been officially introduced. Hi. And this is my oldest sister Felice. Hi. She's never been in any of my videos before and I like she is my oldest sister she's also one of my best friends and we see each other all the time and I was like this is a travesty why has she not been in any of my videos yet Rude. so Robin in one video. yeah he was in a video briefly but I never like officially introduced you or explained who you were or anything so Hi. how rude of me our original plan was we were going to get Duncan because it's tradition. Whenever she comes over, we get Duncan. But then we decided we wanted like some salami and bread and stuff. So we're on our way to Kroger to get that. And then we're going to get coffees. So I just thought I would update you guys, introduce them. And I actually had an idea for like a video, like a video video later. And I was like, maybe Felice would want to do that with me. It's hard to like plan this sort of thing because along, what along with Trace, Felice also has like a, a little tiny child, but he's like, Go we're kind of all on his schedule and what he, yeah, a little baby nuggy and whatever he allows us to do. So we'll kind of see how today goes and if we're like able to do that. But yeah, so we're just going to get food and then coffee. And I just wanted to introduce you guys. Yeah, the essentials. Going in Kroger now. While we were looking for cheese in the store, we came across this, never seen it before. Espresso Bella Vitano. It has coffee on it. So being the coffee addicts that we are, we of course had to try this. <laughs> I, I don't have high hopes for it. I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna be weird, but I really wanted to try it. I think it's gonna be a good weird. I'm kinda excited to actually It try said it. on the thing, it said for breakfast or dessert. So I'm like, I don't think this is gonna go with the salami. Anyway, even if, it, I don't know. Well, I mean, unless you live in Italy, they probably eat salami and bread for like breakfast. That's very so. true. I need to move to Italy. <laughs> I mean, I think we're getting like the greatest thing. It's like coffee's our favorite and Italian stuff is our favorite. True. So how can we go wrong? We'll let you guys know how it tastes. Shishi, are you recording? I am. It's us, it's us. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's okay. He needs the practice in how to handle like True. confusing orders. True. We're just gonna have to check everything. <laughs> we're gonna have to taste test. <laughs> you need one of those little like stands where you can like pop your phone in there. Yeah, I know. I do need one. So I'm just getting on to, here to express. This is like the best coffee I've had from Dunkin' in like months probably. It's perfect. It's perfectly balanced. Like and for those of you who aren't drink. regular like coffee goers and Dunkin' goers, that's saying like a lot. It is your your coffee perfect. It is saying a lot because we were talking about how inconsistent they are and like my coffee will be vastly different from day to day. Like it's never right, so I never really know exactly how to order it. It's so good. Whatever crew they had in there today, like never they, leave. They were on it. Y'all are the best. They need it's to raise. It's the little things, guys. It's it the is. little things. It's my Boston cream donut was bloated. Rolled up with Boston cream. <laughs> Even dead. his donut, you guys. <laughs> so I just finished Cool Beans and it was so cute that I ordered the next two books in the series. And I never showed you, but the bookmark I was using while reading this is the coffee bookmark that I made because I thought it was fitting. I have a lot of bookmarks and I like to use bookmarks that match the book I'm reading. I just told you guys how disciplined and good I was being by not spending money and I just like, I spoke it into existence because I went on thrift books and I was like, I need the next two books in the series. Like, I've already started another one of her books, or two others of her books actually, and haven't finished either series, so I'm like, I gotta finish this one. It's just, it's too cute. I went on thrift books today, and I'd already, like, I've been on thrift books several times, and added books to my cart, but then like, I resisted and hadn't bought anything, but I finally got these two, and it's like, well, if I'm ordering two, I might as well order some others that I'm interested in too. So I just did a whole order. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the stuff that I bought. I ordered Latte Days and Double Shot, the next two books in the series. And while I was at it, I also got The Mysterious Benedict Society and The Prisoner's Dilemma because that's um, one of the books in the series that I don't have. I got a Jennifer Nielsen book because I like her and this one sounded interesting. Um, The Scourge, is that how you say that word? Scourge? Let me look that up real quick. I've like never said that word out loud. Yeah, Scourge. What would I do without Google? Um, I also got Awakened by Morgan L. Busey because I need to finish this duology before her new book comes out and I start that one. Like, I need to finish it. And it is brand new because I love her, so I bought all of her books brand new. No used copies of Morgan Busey. And then I also got another book, which I'm not sure if I should tell you what it is because I bought it for somebody. And chances are that person won't see this video, but just in case, I'm going to keep that one a secret also new and since i bought all of these books and spent so much money i now have a free book reward so yeah anything like five dollars or less i think is how it goes is free my next purchase so that's cool and these should be it here should arrive within like a week's time that's typically how it goes for me at least and where i live so it doesn't take too long for them to get here so i'm very excited also i think i have officially decided to dnf here to stay I, get, I just hate doing it, but it's like kind of long. It's almost 400 pages. And I'm still, I haven't read any more since the last time I mentioned this book. And I just really don't want to read it, especially after reading Cool Beans. Like, that's the kind of contemporary romance that I like. I'm just a little bored with this one, and I just do not want to read it. So I'm going to permanently DNF this one. String. 
Oh, and also, also, me and my sister did not end up getting around to filming that other video that I mentioned that I wanted to film. So maybe some other time. We'll see if it works out one of these days. And the cheese was interesting. It's very, like, a strong flavor. So, like, you can't eat a lot of it at a time. It wasn't bad, but I was not a fan of it with salami. I'm not sure what else I would eat it, like, on or with. I'm not really sure. It didn't have, like, a big coffee flavor, but it wasn't bad cheese. It's just really strong, and I like more mild cheeses, personally. I guess that's it for my update. Um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because... I just want to. I don't really want to start another book with the vlog. I'm just going to end it and be done. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and meeting some more of my family. And sometimes I ask you guys a question. And I was trying to think if there was anything I wanted to ask you. I guess just let me know what you are currently reading right now down in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you guys. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next Bookish Ramblings video.